Hey y'all, so I am going to um, try to vlog today my trip to Houston. Um, thankfully, there ended up being no travel restrictions between North Carolina and Houston. So I'm gonna try to vlog as much as possible. I'm like not the best vlogger in the world. So I'm gonna try to make sure I keep, you know, my phone in my selfie stick so that I can remember um, to vlog as much as I can. I'm all dressed up, so I really wanted to show you guys what, like how I dress for flights and dress for the airport for comfort and style. So it's kind of early. I don't have to head to the airport, but for like another couple hours or so, but I do have a couple errands to run. Like I feel like I need to get my um, eyebrows waxed, but I've been going God knows how long since way before the pandemic without getting them waxed. So it's like, I don't really want to now. I <laughs> just want to show you guys my outfit, show you guys what I'm going to wear. And then, um, yeah, I'm all packed up. My bag is super heavy, but luckily I'm flying Southwest. So I get two bags for free, but I'm only carrying one bag. And normally I hate carrying like multiple bags, but and I hate carrying like check bags, but whatever. But normally I carry a carry-on um, because I hate going to baggage claim. I just like to go where I'm going. But yeah, so I really just wanted to show you guys my outfit part in my, you know, my workout section and my, um, <laughs> my junk, my pool floaty. But so yeah, I wanted to show you guys what I just like, a typical outfit I wear for, um, at the airport so i just have them like a jacket because i'm freaking always freezing like yeah i'm always cold so i always have to get a jacket like that's like the first thing i grab and so um i love these loafers so they are super comfortable i got them um they're a little bit a little bit too big but the lower size was a little bit too small but anyway i love preppy style so like oh my god i'm so in love with these loafers and then i just paired these with like a pair of comfortable work pants um like stretchy work pants so they're pretty comfortable and I don't have on a belt because my pants are a little bit too big since I started to lose weight but they're you know also comfortable because of that same reason and then I just tied it with this blazer and yeah that's about it and I did want to show you guys a little bit of what I take on the plane um because see normally I don't really I hate checking bags because I hate going to baggage claim. I like to run off the plane. Yes, I'm that person that's standing up as soon as the plane land and get to where I'm going. So normally I don't like taking check bags, but because I need a lot of props and different things for my photo shoot, I just decided to bring my big suitcase and just check bags. Um, so I'm only gonna take this, my Jimmy Choo tote. I'm only gonna take this. Um, and so I was trying to, I bought a really cute black bag that was so chic, but it didn't fit all my stuff. So I just have a few, you know, knickknacks in there. My socks, I should probably put that away. My mask so I don't forget. And then this is the real reason. These are my headphones and these are the real, this is the real reason why I didn't bring, take the other bag, which I'm gonna send back to Amazon because this thing is so bulky and it just didn't fit in the other bag. So. Yeah, and so my phone case for when I take this off, um, just my pair of glasses. I love this glass case from Shein. And these are not the glasses I got from Shein, but I love this case. So I kind of use this to double as my um, glasses, my prescription glasses and my shades. And these are like one of my favorite pair of shades. And I got these from um, Torrid actually oh i love being organized so this is like um uh this stores all of my chargers i got this from tj maxx and it's like a travel organizer organizer for all of my chargers macbook air charger my earphones that plug right into my iphone my iphone my apple watch charger um and my tablet charger which i'll be 
charging my phone too with one of them. This is the only liquids that I'm bringing since I'm bringing my whole bag. Um, I just squeezed some of my um, hand sanitizer into this little thing my mom got me for Christmas because she know I like to travel even though she complained about literally every time I go somewhere. So I'm not even telling her I'm going to Texas. <laughs> And because she's gonna have a conniption. Um, so I'm not even gonna tell her, I'll tell her when I get back. Um, and um, so, and then I'm just bringing some ibuprofen. I love these. I love Walmart, um, Walmart, <laughs> Walgreens brand, the dye free ones, because they're basically like the 800 milligrams, except last couple years, I haven't been able to swallow those giant pills when I need them, but I rarely take pills like ever, but I like to have these. These are my favorite, like, I hate to say I have a favorite painkiller because I really don't ever take medicine, but this is like the only thing that I take, so I wanted to bring it just in case. And maybe, yeah, anyway. So, and then just some hand cream because I will be trying to be safe and washing my hands and putting on hand sanitizer, you know, every time when I go through security checkpoint, I'm gonna go straight to the bathroom and wash my hands. And then just my wallet, my tablet, my certification papers and notes and so I can you know be productive on the plane and then my laptop case how cute is this like I was so happy that I was able to find my laptop case and I've been had the laptop case for since last year but I just got a tablet so and I was able to find the matching tablet now I was gonna wait and just eat at the airport but I just ended up getting some food just now from Hardee's like literally at 11 30 and I just got me a um Frisco burger low carb so wrapped in lettuce I'm sitting in the car outside of my apartment complex because I really don't feel like going back upstairs uh, I'm gonna call an uber in about 30 minutes so I'm gonna just like sit in the car like I'm on my lunch break at work <laughs> and eat this food and I don't know watch Moesha or something and so the snacks that I got for the flight just so I don't cheat um, like I've been cheating some days, but it, it, it is what it is. I don't want to be too restrictive and then kind of like undo all my work. So slow and steady wins the race. But for, you know, I want to be on my grind. At least 90% of my food needs to be keto. Um, 90% of the week. Okay, so I got some Asiago with some cheese crisps you know like chips but not panino pepperoni oh and then i got my <gasps> favorite salt and vinegar almonds i'm ready to go to the airport already i'm ready to get to houston so i can you know check into my hotel and you know get relaxed and everything and go hang out with one of my friends who also live here who's meeting me and she's already she ended up just going flying yesterday because she works for delta so it's nothing for her to get a flight and be the block okay Security, this light in the tush. So, luckily, I was able to get myself together. There's like hardly anybody in this terminal. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna wash my hands.
but luckily, like it's so empty. Like there's like literally nobody here. It's like a really nice desk area lined up. So I can plug up my laptop and get some work done and actually be productive. Everything is closed in the airport, like all the airport stores. So thankfully I didn't need to get any, um, but didn't need, the only thing I needed to get was water and I just had to go to a restaurant that was open. Um, because, <sighs> it's so freaking hot. Like I'm in this jacket. I'm just like, just like so freaking hot. And this water, this Aquafina water, that's like $4.99 a pack and the store for $24 is $3 and some change. Oh my God, if I would pay $3, I would rather really get high quality water but whatever none of the stores is open so forget i can't even get fiji and i don't even aquafina is not my favorite it's not dasani by any means i'm gonna just sit here and try to get some work done um try to get some of my videos started editing and then go back to my gate in probably about 40 minutes so yeah, I'm listen to some music, watch a movie or something. And one thing I love about going from the East Coast to like anywhere West is that you gain an hour. It's horrible coming back because you lose an hour. But from here to Houston, you know, they're an hour behind us. So it'll be a, ever so slightly earlier when I get there so we can have something to do. Oh my God, I'll see you and you and later. Just next to you. So, this is absolutely I always end up, I have a very bad motion sickness, so I always have to, I always try to avoid the wings because the shifting kind of makes it act up even more. But then the flight attendant told me that the back is worse and also um, on the wing is like the safest place. So I'm like. Like your arm and crush it, crush it